uh, with the uh, April 1st, which is the date where the new regulation, federal regulation on the uh, medical marijuana uh, is, uh, is, go is going. Uh, the new regulation, compared to the old regulation, uh, now puts the burden of prescribing uh, medical marijuana on the shoulder of physicians. This is the main difference. This is why the college had to uh, provide some guidelines to the, the profession to know exactly what to do. Uh, the problem is that uh, medical marijuana is not a recognized treatment. And this is the basis of our uh, guidelines. Uh, it is not a, a recognized treatment that is for which we know indication. There are no clear indications. There are no uh, real good uh, scientific data showing uh, safety uh, data, indication, dosages, uh, how to, do, to make the follow-up and so on. So the problem is how to deal with such an unrecognized treatment. Discussions with them, with the researchers, uh, make us believe that probably within two or three months we will be able to have this, this research framework in order to provide safety and more data on how to use medical marijuana if there is a place for that uh, new uh, new drug in the in the, uh, the pharmacopoeia. Uh, the problem with smoke marijuana is that it's a product that gives addiction and for which uh, the side effects of uh, smoking are still present just like with uh, nicotine and, uh, and cigarettes. So there are side effects that uh, make us more aware of the effect of, of that drug. So you need really a good medical reason to expose a patient to a substance that can give uh, addiction and pulmonary side effects potentially, not only to the person who, co who consume it, but all the person living with that person. The College des Médecins react to the new rules of Health Canada and we gave uh, new ways to uh, face this problem and to bring cannabis accessible to the patient. And I think the other regulator around coast to coast in Canada are waiting to see what will happen in Quebec and then follow the same thing that we will do here in Quebec, I think so. Uh, really make these guidelines work for the patients who need this medicine and to also lobby the federal government to um, expand uh, and, and remove many of the restrictions that they have included in their new program, which also hurt patients. They are more concerned about liability issues. Um, the reality is that there is ample evidence to support regulating uh, medical cannabis as a natural health product under the Natural Health Product Directorate, uh, as opposed to uh, a dangerous narcotic, which is really how the federal government is treating it. You know, I mean the the. It, it, this is the new marketplace uh, that Health Canada has uh, put out there is really seen through the lens of a dangerous narcotic, which cannabis is absolutely not.